gentlemen, and welcome to the most highly anticipated Cold Bowl final in history. Two Cape Breton teams facing off for the first time in search of a gold medal. Ben Kearney's already got us going here with a quick, quick 2-0 lead for the Bears. The vibe in this gym is electric right now, Alex. Both Beck Bears and Riverview looking to get their third Cold Bowl title in program history. As McKinnon is blocked going towards the net. Bears and Ravens both reaching the finals with perfect 5-0 records. It was Beck claiming a big victory over St. Mark's in the first of our semifinals last night. And then Riverview clawed their way to a three-point victory over the Hans North Flames. If you're just tuning in for the first time, I'm Alex McLeod. I'm here with Nathan Petty. Nathan, great to have you here. Thanks for having me here, Al. What a ball game we got in store for us. Just off the mark from McKinnon. Not able to corral that before leaks set of bounds. Starters for the Ravens. Eli Tunnicliffe, Rory McCormick, Nick McLeod, Ryan Wadden, and Anthony Lecky. Tunnicliffe now with the ball for the Ravens. Gets it over for Lecky. McLeod from the elbow, off the mark. Rebound taken by Lecky. Gets it up off glass, no good, rebound LeBlanc. Good D there from Joe, straight up. The much taller Lecky. Starting lineup for the Bears, Cohen McDonald, Joe McNeil, Logan LeBlanc, Ben Kearney, and Luke McKinnon. Great find there for McKinnon, just off the mark for LeBlanc. Skip pass, McKinnon, three, just off. Rebound taken by Lecky. Good look there for McKinnon. Look for a little adjustment for him next time down the floor. Wadden, wide open for three. Won't go, rebound by McKinnon. Little bit of early nerves here from both sides. Wadden with a odd miss. Joe back to Great McKinnon. pass. Beauty pass from Joe McNeil finding Luke McKinnon to give the Bears a 4-0 lead. Unbelievable vision there from Joe. McLeod now Huge. blocked by LeBlanc. Huge block. of block there from Logan LeBlanc. Logan. This is going to be a battle here. LeBlanc Tunnicle. against McCormick. The spin, the floater won't go down. Rebound taking LeBlanc. Watch for that battle all night here. McCormick versus LeBlanc. 2.30 in the afternoon. All afternoon, sorry. <laughs> Lecky up for McCormick. Tries to save it, but it's taken away by LeBlanc. Here comes Joe the other way. Over to Kearney. Kearney right past and to the rim for two. Burns right past Lecky there. That's another marquee matchup we're going to be focused on. The two CBU commits, Anthony Lecky, Ben Kearney. And the blocking foul here going against Cohen McDonald. Right away, Coach Carney heads to the bench. Bring in Ethan McNeil. And that inbound nearly taken away, but a ton of cliff recovers. And now it is stolen by Ethan. McNeil. Pitches off for McKinnon. Over to McDonald. Skip pass for Kearney. He'll launch from deep. Just off. Rebound taken by Tunnicliffe. Good close out there by Lecky. They get it to McLeod, and he'll get the Ravens on the board. LeBlanc just a little late getting back there. Nick McLeod gets a wide open two. Good fake there from LeBlanc as he goes right to the rim, and he's getting a call for the offensive foul.
LeBlanc just had too much steam there coming through the lane. Lecky gets it over for Tunnicliffe. Floater goes good off glass. 6-4 lead for the Bears. It's a good deal. Tries to find McKinnon down low. It's knocked around. Fought for and taken by McLeod. Ton of cliff now. Picks up his dribble. Gets it over to McCormick. Back up top, ton of cliff. Over to Lecky. Lecky pull up jumper. Finds its way in. Or not at six. Gets the friendly roll there. It's Carney. Now Logan for three. Just off. Rebound taken by Wadden. Tunnicliffe, attacking in transition, gets it over to McLeod. Back at Wadden for three. Short, rebound, taken by McKinnon. McNeil. Back and forth, basketball. Hey, nice nice five for LeBlanc, but he can't finish. Great pass coming from McNeil on that one. Those are the ones that you really got to make count. Tunnicliffe attacks, loses the handle on it. It's taken by LeBlanc. Slows down the offense. Hands off for LeBlanc. Thought of it to three. Drive, kick down low. Kicked away. Now cut Lecky the other way. Lecky. Tough, tough shot. <laughs> not, not quite sure why he made things so difficult on himself on that one. McDonald. I think he was expecting a little more of a challenge there from Kearney. Kearney drives, gets to the rim, left-hand finish. He attacks Lecky, had him right off the first bounce. First step, he beat him. Easy deuce. Tonicliff gets it over to Lecky. Into the corner, the three. Heavy from McCormick. As Joe will check in for Colin McDonald. Blocked by Kearney, and saved to LeBlanc. Kearney attacking, tries to get a tail. Remain Bears possession, 18 to shoot. LeMoyne will check in here for the Ravens. Don't want to force anything here if you're the Bears. If it's not there, just swing it around. McKinnon for three, won't go, rebound Lecky. Good inbound play there by the Bears. Getting the off-ball screen to free up McKinnon. It's two good looks McKinnon had early on here, so. McCormick down low, good patience there on the fake. McCormick able to get that one to go, nodding us up at eight. Joe now, attacks, gets to the rim, and he's fouled, and he'll head to the line for two. Foul goes against Wadden. First personal foul, first team foul. Joe heading to the line here for the Bears. Kick at the roll in the first. Heavy on the second. We have a foul going against McNeil. Just a little too much hands there. That's Joe's second. Team's fourth. I think the hands definitely got in there before the, the push off. Corner, Wadden, three, just off. Rebound taken by LeBlanc. Kearney now. 
Good pump fake, elbow jumper, good. Ton of clip. Working on Joe. Gets it over for Wadden. McCormick now, short corner jumper, won't fall. Rebound taken by McNeil. Tough shot there for McNeil. Kearney goes up and in. What a follow up, what a quarter he's having. Great start here. The great 12 in his final Cole Bowl game. And the three, big answer from Lecky. It's a big three there from Lecky as well. Lecky here in the MVP champ from the Riverview faithful in attendance today. That would be Tonicliffe's first. Thomas McDonald making his first appearance since getting injured in a game on Monday. He's not wearing that ankle brace that he had on in the semifinal yesterday. He was dressed for the semis yesterday, did not see any action. But he did just win the three-point contest. And he did look, looked all right look, in that look, as well. Looked pretty good there. Score of 17. McNeil's able to hit the second. Lucky. Pressured by Joe. Floater off glass. No good. Rebound taken by LeBlanc. Kearney nailed the other way. Pulls up. Dishes. Backdoor Kearney. Beautiful give and go from the seniors. What a play. The great 12 connection. McNeil to Kearney. The neighborly connection we'll go with. They've been doing this for a long time, those two. Lucky is fouled in the act. Neil not happy with the call. His second personal. He knew right away. Lucky will get three shots. Lecky's good on the first. Good on the second. Converts all three. McDonald will check back into the game for the Bears. 1.16 to go in the first quarter. Joe. Over to LeBlanc. Switches back to Joe. Finds Kearney. Kearney, three. Just off. Rebounded by Leckie. Big rebound there for LeBlanc. Parody, working on Tonicliffe. Tough fall away jumper, won't go. Rebound taken by Lecky. We get it down low, McDonald. Won't go, rebound, McCormick. Can't get that funny to fall. As Joe showing off the handles. He's going to hold for the last shot of the quarter. Seven to shoot for Kearney. Gets a deal low. LeBlanc goes up. It gets two. And after one quarter of play, the score is Beck Bears 17, Ruby Raven 14. What a quarter that was, Alex. Back and forth basketball at its finest. 
The crowd is electric. Back and forth basketball from both teams. I mean, you can't ask for much more for championship Saturday here from the Cole Bowl Classic. As we said, a historic matchup. Two Cape Breton teams have never both reached the final the same year. These two teams have had competitive games all year. Beck holding a 2-1 advantage in the head-to-head -head matchups. One and one in regular season. <coughs> two back and forth games in the regular season as well, so. Look for another fun-filled one here this Saturday afternoon on a freezing cold Saturday afternoon. Everybody's able to brave the cold, come out, show their support. The Beck Zoo crew reminding the Riverview fans where they're at. <laughs> Three-point game as we start the second quarter. It's lucky. Two fakes. Gets it over to Tunnicliffe. Drives in the lane. Blocked by Kearney. McNeil now. Gets it for Kearney. Goes up. No good. Over for McDonald. Back up top, Lecky. Gets it over to Tonicliffe. He'll launch for three. No good. Rebound McLeod. And it's stolen away by LeBlanc. Good hands there from LeBlanc. Mid-range jumper. McDonald, no good. Rebound fought for. Taken by McKinnon. The step through and he's blocked. McCormick got way, up, way there. up for that. The three, McDonald, no good. Rebound McNeil. Bears fortunate McDonald unable to hit that one. And when you do a three-point competition, it, it kind of affects the, the timing in-game shooting because you're on a different clock, right? Yep. So Dif different rim as well. On a cliff for three, no good. Rebound taken by McKinnon. Kearney going to slow the pace here for the Bears. <coughs> McDonald in the corner. Somehow threads the needle to McKinnon. Now Logan LeBlanc for three, and it's money. The big man with the big shot from outside. Such a versatile big man. Lucky gets it taken away, and now it's Kearney. Goes up and finishes the layup. He really puts some thought into that. As Coach Kearney scratches his head. Lucky now to answer, and he does. Anthony Lucky right back the other way with a three of his own. What a ball game. Law stripped. Good hustle for McNeil. Right back the other way. Able to strip him. LeBlanc goes up. And one. Count it. Logan LeBlanc looking for three the old fashioned way. And the Ravens are going to use their first timeout of the half. What a swing there from LeBlanc. Got to complete the free throws here. Gonna have a timeout. And then we'll complete the free throws. 24-17, the Bears advantage. Just got to get back to the, the game plan here. A little bit of run and gun on the offense for the Ravens. Coach Redshaw, just get everybody back on the same page. Just got a big three from Leckie. 
on the other end. I mean, it's just been the same conversation all week. LeBlanc at one end, big rebounds, leading to points and transition at the other end. 24-17 here. Beck Bears leading the Ravens. We knew coming into it, it was going to be the Kearney versus Lecky show, so. It has not disappointed thus far. A lot of good moves. Big shots by Lecky, good post moves by Kearney. I mean, it's, it's exciting to watch this battle. As coach Matt Skin looks on, CBU coach. He's got to be impressed with what he's seeing thus far. Yeah, we're actually going to talk to Coach Skin later in the stream. Get his take on watching his two future capers do battle here in the Cold Bowl final. You got to think there's more than just those two that they're here watching. I mean, LeBlanc and McCormick are two young up-and-comers that are, they got to be on the radar, two really big, powerful threats. It's lucky. Gets to McCormick, taken away by Cardi. And he double dribbles. Crowd, not a fan of that call. I don't know about that one either. It might have been, looked like it was a little bit of a bobble. Lecky drives. As Lecky looks for the call. Corner, McDonald, three. Just off. Great tip there by McKinnon, getting it to Logan LeBlanc for an easy layup. Wadden has to get over. Get it to Tunnicliffe. He gets to the rim. Can't finish. The foul is going to go against Ethan McNeil. That'll be two on Ethan as well. Kind of clip to the line. Unable to hit the first. As the Bears fans are making it as difficult as possible. Second free throw is good. Kearney gets it to LeBlanc. Foul's going to go against Lecky. Got to be one on Lecky. Let's see if the Bears go back to that inbound play where free up McKinnon. Put back attempt denied, and there's going to be a foul there against McCormick. I don't know how he can possibly complain I, about that one because that was pretty obvious. I, I don't, I, I don't know what he's arguing there. That's just a blatant swing in the lane there. I'm not sure what. I think if that wasn't called, this place would have exploded. Yeah, I think you're right there. First free throw, no good for McNeil. Second one rims out, offensive rebound, Kearney. Spins, goes up, and gets two. Great work there from Kearney, able to establish some space there. Tunnicliffe gets it over to McLeod. Lecky, down low for McLeod. Back to Lecky. Thought him at the three. Steps back. Now guarded by Kearney. They get it down low and it's bobbled by Todd. The nail nail the other way. Slows things down. Gets it into the corner. The kidding. The three. Just off the mark by Kearney there. Luke 
McKinnon picking up the foul. That'll be one on McKinnon. Connor Cliff right back the other way. He's able to find Todd who can't get it to go. McNeil. See a bit of frustration coming from the Ravens. Back door for McKinnon, but it's box. lost out of bounds. Great pass again from McNeil. Excellent find. McKinnon right away says that's on me. Would have been a nice little backdoor feed. On a cliff. Driving. It's going to be a blocking foul call. Goes against LeBlanc. His second personal. As Coach Kearney will use his first time out of the game. Take this opportunity to shout out a couple of our viewers as I know Ben's grandmother wishes she could be here and she's home watching, so shout out to you. As well as Joe Jones also watching from home on this chilly day in Cape Breton. Absolutely. Nancy Walzak as well. She's way up north in Anuvik. Her Jack and Luke. It's got to be colder here than it is up there today. It probably I is. I know it was yesterday, so last night it was colder in New Waterford than it was in Manuva. So The Beck Zoo crew making a trip around to get the get everybody going. people going. So they're going to hear it from the, from the Ravens. as we had a member lose her cell phone on the trip around. That's never good. Great job by a veteran official, Paul DeBailey, cleaning up some, I don't even know what you call it, debris from the floor. <laughs> also shout out Jesse Basher watching from Ogama, Ontario. Doing it in before night shift. I did just get confirmation also from Nancy that it is colder in New Waterford than it is in Inuvik. Unbelievable. McNeil now trying to extend that Bears lead. Drives right to the rim, dishes it back, but it's turned over. Ton of cliff. Scoop shot won't fall. Offensive rebound. He takes it right back out. Lecky. He'll pull for three. Won't bounce this time. Need a, need a little bit more effort there from McKinnon on that contest from Lecky. He will knock that down all day. McNeil over LeBlanc. McKinnon. Skip to the corner for McDonald. Drives outside. McNeil for three. Just off the mark, rebound taken by Todd. Wadden, pull up jumper, won't go down, rebound taken by McKinnon. It's a bit of a lull in the offense now by both teams. Kearney, big shot there, big deuce there. Just inside the air. He's able to get way up there too on that jumper. It's lucky. Turned over, Cardi nailed the other way. He goes in for the uncontested finger roll. Coach Redshaw will call his second time out of the game. Bears with their largest lead. 33-18, right away. Back-to-back -back possessions. Redshaw's looking for a bit of an explanation there. I mean, it's kind of a waste of your time out to be discussing a call with an official that's not gonna get changed at this point. I mean, get the boys back on the same page. Two tough possessions offensively in a row led to big points at the other end for the Bears. Stretching it to their largest lead of the game. The back Hooker really giving it to the Riverview fans. They're awfully quiet right now with the 15-point Bears lead. 
And both, both of these teams have won Cold Bowl twice before. Riverview winning in 92 and 94. Beck winning in 2009 and 2016. Give a shout out to uh, Cody Muse and Steve McLeod from that 2009 team. They're watching from the six. Love to hear it. With Deb, Steve's wife Deb and Ken Forward. So shout out to you guys up there. Thanks for tuning in. Wishes could be here to just witness this. It's a, you can feel the buzz in the gym. Bears coming with the pressure. It's Tunnicliffe. Gets it to Lecky, has to get over. Just does. Nice pass to thread through two Bears defenders as Tunnicliffe attacks and finishes. Kearney, over for McNeil. McNeil working on Lecky. Gets it to McKinnon. Back to the corner for McNeil. Pulls up, three, just short. Rebanded by Lecky. It's a good look there from McNeil, though. Little lob pass there, dangerous pass from Tonicliffe. Skip for Wadden. Tonicliffe now. Drives, tough shot, gets it to go. Eli Tonicliffe. Good adjustment in the air as well. Tough shot there from Tonicliffe. McNeil will now slow things for the Bears. The lob for LeBlanc, no good. I think the place would have went nuts had he got that alley to go down. It's a high risk, high reward type of play. I mean, it's only an 11 point ball game. I get doing it throughout the week, but this isn't. Uh, it might not necessarily have been a lob for a dunk. He might have been trying to get it for him. Big D there from LeBlanc. Straight up. Giving Nate Robinson a tough goal. And McNeil goes up and scores. Able to just slice through the line, the lane there. Lucky. Takes over for Wad. And to McDonald. He drives and it's kicked. It'll go back to the Ravens. Tunnicliffe for three. Just off. Rebound LeBlanc. McNeil. Almost lost it. He recovers. Corner. McKinnon. Opposite corner. Carney for three. Short. Offensive rebound. But Luke loses the handle. It's saved. And taken by the Ravens. Wadden goes up for the layup. And I think McNeil may have got a piece of that. This foul's going to go against Wadden. It'll be two on him. Tonicliffe. He finds McDonald. The three, Wadden. Big shot, Ryan Wadden. Cutting into this Bears lead. Under a minute to go in the half. Kearney kick. LeBlanc for the corner. He attacks the rim. I thought he was going up over the top. A big finish there from LeBlanc. He was high enough to dunk it. As the follow-away jumper won't go for McDonald. I mean, with McCormick on the floor, look for the Bears to really use LeBlanc to attack Robinson. McCormick had a good battle early on, so Good poke see. there by Jones. McKinnon from the corner. Another three! 
Huge three-pointer there. What a swing for the Bears. Just like that, up to another 15-point lead. And another steal. It's Carney now. He goes up and gets the finger roll. Gonna end the half like that. Big 40. run by the Bears to end the half. 42-25 lead for the Bears heading into a halftime break. We'll be right back with you after a quick break. Thanks for joining.
Hello and welcome back inside Beck Gym for second half action of the 2023 Cold Bowl Classic Final. Bears holding a 17 point advantage over the Riverview Ravens. My name is Austin Cloud. I'm joined now by Capers head coach Matt Skin. Matt, great to have you here. What's up, buddy? How you doing? And no, Matt, you have two players in this game committed to play for you at CBU next season, that being Ben Kearney of the Bears and Anthony Lecky of the Ravens. What have you seen from your guys so far in this final that has impressed you the most? Well, I just think overall this week it's been so fun to watch both of them. Um, first of all, with Anthony, I think he had 45 yesterday in one of the games, which is just absurd. Um, I don't think he's really been that healthy uh, over the last few months. He hurt his ankle pretty bad this season, but uh, he's just so tough, and he wills his way through. I think with Ben, it, 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 it's kind of the same thing. I think Ben is one of the best competitors uh, in the province, just as far as uh, basketball and, and just that compete level that he has on a play-to-play on a -play basis. And he's got the skill to match that. So I, I can't wait to coach those guys. They're going to be great. And um, we, we think they're both going to be players for us in the future for sure. Matt, you've always been a big supporter of the local high school basketball scene. How important is tournaments like this? Uh, Week-long tournaments, big tournament, biggest high school but invitational tournament in the country. How special is that to have that in your backyard? Yeah, you know what? I. I I think our program takes a lot of pride in that and getting involved in the community. You know, we have so many guys within our team who are here watching the game today, who are constantly at high school games. And to see the growth of the players, especially in the local Cape Breton area, um, since I started at CBU in 2012, is pretty incredible. Now that we're able to consistently recruit local players who are involved in high school, who are involved with basketball Cape Breton, um, it's pretty amazing. And, and Getting Anthony and Ben this year is just the start, I think. I think there's there's so many great players who are coming up. And I mean, look at this gym right now. It, this is just, uh, it just shows you how big basketball is in Cape Breton. It's one of the reasons why I love working and coaching here. One of the reasons why I came to play at CBU as well. And it's just, uh, it's just such a fun environment. You see Lucky, nice dish off, feeding McDonald's. Good to see Thomas out there getting a little bit of run today. Yeah, he's missed the last four games with the injury. Back on the floor. First thing he does when he gets back to the floor is win the three-point contest. Yeah, exactly. Well, I think the the big thing with getting a few minutes from him is Beck is just so talented. I like they're so deep. This is one of the best teams in Cape Breton that I've seen in a while. I know a few years ago Riverview had had a really great team as well. And I, I think if those two teams were to play against each other, they'd be really close. Just from one to 10, uh, Beck is so, so talented. And I'm a huge fan of their young players and their great nines as well. Cohen McDonald is just, I think he's gonna be a special player. And Logan is uh, all over the place today. He's been playing great this week too. As you see him snatch another rebound there. And at halftime, we did see one of your players, uh, Jason Callahan in the $1,000 half court shot. He almost hit the rim. That was his cold ball moment. He didn't get to play in a cold ball, so we were bugging him. That was his moment, and he and uh, fell flat. Moyne is about to check into the game for the Ravens. It's impressive to see Beck, though, consistently all week with their pressure and, and their work ethic and what they've been able to do. And, you know, it's just a testament to Sandy what he's doing with the program. It's uh, it's great. Those these guys are these guys work hard and they're putting the time in, and um, it shows with the result and the product that they're putting on the floor. They're they're a really great team. And these guys play six games in six days. Uh, a well, lot. This, of, a this lot is of these guys use third game in 16 hours, I think. Yeah, and they guys like Lecky and Kearney, they log a lot of minutes in those games. How much of a fact do you think fatigue is playing? In the game that we see well, I think today. both both coaches have, have uh, cut down their rotation a little bit today. Um, I think Beck went with basically six in the first half. Um, Riverview six or seven, maybe. Um, so it's obviously going to make a difference. As Lucky hits another three, um, it's going to make a difference. And I think overall, Beck, you know, from you know, with those one to six, I think they have a little bit more depth, and that might be able to allow them to overcome it here at the end. Neil gets still low. Take to the corner for three for Luke McKinnon. Can't get it to go. The offensive rebounds adding up for the Bears. For 
We're halfway through this third quarter. McDonald drives, put us a tough floater. Rebound McCormick goes up and in. Roy's another one. Roy's a great 10 player from Rearview. He's about 6'5, 6'6 already. He's going to be he's going to be a very good player too. McNeil. He's in the screen for LeBlanc. Nice find for McKinnon down low. They get it back for LeBlanc. He goes up and he's blocked. Lucky quick out left. Finds LeMoyne. The spin tipped away right to McCormick. Little fadeaway jumper goes down. Riverview not going away here. Ten point advantage now for the Bears. I want to talk a little bit more about Ben too because I'm really excited to coach him first of all. He, but, but he's one of those guys that I found um, getting him out at CBU and, and getting in workouts and things like that. Like when you get him in with the guys and you're doing some skills or workouts, you look at him, you're like, okay, you know, he's solid. He can do some good things. And then as soon as you put him into a setting like this, he's everywhere. And he, like, like I said before, like he's just such a competitor, how he goes after it. Um, and I think that's going to pay off as, as he continues to grow into his body, as the skills continue to develop as well. And that's why I think he can, he's going to be something for us at some point in his career for sure because he's got the size. And that you can't really teach that competitive side. I'd like to say he has gotten better every year since he started back in grade nine. Unfortunately, playing just his second goal bowl due to uh, some cancellations. We have a little mess on the floor. Cleaned up quickly by Logan LeBlanc. Kind of worked out better either to have two Cape Breton teams in the final. Coming back after a hiatus as well, it's been great. First ever final with two Cape Breton teams. Both teams, as we said, looking for their third pole bowl title in program history. Nice backdoor pass as McCormick is fouled. Do you know the answer to the Cold Bowl trivia of who has the most Cold Bowl titles? Because I don't know. I'm just asking you. I, I, I think. Because Riverview has two. Riverview's, Beck has two. I believe Charlottetown has three. I think they're the leaders. They're the leader? Okay. So whoever wins today's game will join them at the top. I believe this is Riverview's fifth Cold Bowl final. The fourth for Beck. I got a good source that I can talk to about how many finals they've been in. <laughs> winning in 92, losing in 93, winning in 94. They also lost to Halifax Grammar. Right. We got to we got to say we got to say the name coach Bill Burns. We have to say that. You're you're a former college coach? Yep, he was my former coach. I don't want to give him too much credit though. He coached, yeah, like you say, he coached those two review teams that won. Winning coaches for Beck were Coach Darnell Young and John Gee Demeter. So McCormick's going to head to the line here. For Riverview to have a shot here in the last 14 minutes or so, it's about breaking the pressure and being able to score out of that pressure. And I think that's the thing that most teams have been struggled with with Beck this week is it's not about just getting the ball over half, but it's about being organized enough to be able to get something positive out of that because they do overcommit at spots within their pressure. So if you can get past that and get something at the rim and something positive, they'll, have it, they'll be able to get, cut the lead here. And how much of an advantage is it for Riverview, having seen the press all year, where you're, as you're just going into a game like Cole Bowl for every other team, first time you're getting to see that pressure. And you're so Riverview's coaches, uh, Coach Redshaw and O'Rourke, drawing up press breaks all season to work on in this final. Yeah, but I, and I think it's not just the pressure. I think it's 
for the most part, they're playing five guys who are, you know, 6'2 or, or, or bigger, right? And for high school, that's that's a big athletic team. There's just not a lot of teams that can that can do that. And um, it's just the athletes plus the pressure. Kearney scores again. He had 22 points in that first half. Bend it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Quiet. He led all scores. McDonald goes the other way. Awkward finish. Yes. Tunnicliffe comes up limping a little bit, just a cramp it looks like. He'll remain in the game. From my vantage point, I, I mean, I guess I was standing underneath the defensive end, but it just seemed like Logan made the biggest impact in the first half for Beck. He was rebounding everything. He had a couple blocks, a couple and ones. It seemed like he was all over. Oh, what a pass. Great pass there by McNeil. Finds Carney for another easy layup. Rodden loses control. They skip it up from the corner. Into the corner, Leckie. Big three to answer. Rims out. That one halfway down. It's again, it's just the relentlessness of the pressure. It's 10 points. Then you look up. 45 seconds later, it's back up to 16. McNeil using the screen. Gets a back door for Carney. To McKinnon. Skip out for Joe. Joe pulls for three. Just off. Rebound Carney right up. Can't get it to go. So over two minutes to go here in the third quarter. 16 points. Bears advantage. McDonald, I don't think he meant to go behind the back, but it worked with a give and go. Looks pretty healthy right now. He's moving pretty well, especially on the defensive end. It's Joe to the corner. LeBlanc for three. Big man can't hit on that attempt. Ton of cliff will control. Got stuff for McCormick. He'll pull for three. Seeing the shooting big men here. Uh, he can shoot it. Him and Logan can both shoot the three. Kearney takes a three of his own, and he hits that one. Ben Kearney scoring from all over the floor, forces review into taking their first time out of the half. Matt, thank you very much for joining me. I'll let you get back to your seats and enjoy the rest of this game. Thanks for having me, guys. Seventeen point advantage. For the Bears. Nathan, great to have you back here. Thank you, thank you. It's great talking to Matt. For Get a little different opening stage of the third quarter. Get his perspective. What a hot start to the third there for the Bears. Ben Carney taking over offensively. Yeah, Ben had, as I just said with Matt, Ben had 22 in that first half. He's been lighting it up already in this third quarter. Well composed, young man. Rarely shows any emotion. Leaves it all out there. Right away in that 1-2-2 two, two again for the Bears. Tonicliff. Good hands for McDonald. Joe now. Tries to thread the needle, gets it back. Kick out, Kearney, three. Well that short one tipped. There. McDonald fights for it. Good pressure by Joe in the backcourt. Grade nine guarding grade 12. 
What pressure there from Joe. Wreaking havoc for Lecky. Not backing down from any challenge. The great nine going aft, the CBU cometh. Fair started two great nines in the final of the pole bowl. We don't see that too often. They really utilize a number of great nines throughout the week. McKinnon will Luke McKinnon in. will check into the game. Kearney, tough fall away on the baseline, won't go. Wadden. Loses the handle on it, taken by Kearney. And hold for the final shot of the quarter. It's a three second differential between game clock and shot clock. Kearney, taken away by Leckie. Lecky accelerates to the rim and finishes. McDonald from half, no good. See, so sent tumbling. Coach Kearney's looking on for I think he wanted that half court foul call, but that's a tough one to give. Coach Redshaw might have lost his mind if there was a foul call there. The end of three quarters. Sixty-one forty-six. Bears lead. Bears ten minutes away from their third title. Bear fans are much louder than the Ravens right now. Ben Kearney really took the crowd right out of it in that third quarter as he went off. And it took the Bears 27 years to win their first Cole Bowl. And they look to win their third in the last 14. With a couple of missed seasons there as well, missed years. Fans welcome the boys back onto the floor. As veteran official Paul DeBailey will come over and make sure his feet are nice and sticky for this fourth quarter. LeBlanc. McNeil in with four fouls now. Kearney drives baseline, attacks and finishes at the rim. Blew right by. And that'll be the fifth on uh, McNeil. He knew right away. It's that aggressive style of play that he does have. That's the fifth against the field. You always got to keep that in the back of your mind, though. So he'll exit goal bowl for the final time as he's a great 12 student. Lecky, corner for McKinnon. That one taken away. Here comes Joe. Joe, great skip pass baseline. Beauty pass by Joe, but McDonald couldn't hit. Lecky goes up and finishes. Like he bowls over LeBlanc. Didn't quite see what happened there. Good 
does appear to be holding his back. Kind of an awkward looking play there. It'd be a huge loss for the Bears if he's unable to continue. Look for Riverview to go right to McCormick. If LeBlanc does have to come out here for a prolonged period of time anyway. Nine seventeen to go in the fourth quarter. Everybody waiting patiently to see. LeBlanc is in some discomfort. He's gonna make his way up to the floor. Good to see. I want to get up. Clearly in some pain, but able to walk under his own power. Zoe Cashin will check in here for the Bears. Bears now without both McNeil and LeBlanc. 15 point lead. Joe, floater won't go down. Rebound taken by Leckie. Wadden, he attacks. And he's gonna draw the foul and head to the line for two. Heading to the line. Unable to hit the first. Second one rattles home. Ton of cliff back in here for the Ravens. Nine minute mark in the fourth. Joe, skip over from McKinnon. Back to Joe up top. Kearney now. Kearney, good footwork, but he's blocked by McCormick. Second chance effort won't go. Third chance. Cash and fourth chance, and on the fourth try, he draws the foul. Right away, Owen Cash and making his presence known down there in the post. Just athletic, able to get up over the much taller McCormick, bring down that board. That's the first to go. That'll be three on McCormick as well. Good throw. Wadden. Yep, that's a travel. Good call by the official. Joe gets it over to McDonald. Takes to the corner for McKinnon. Back up top, McDonald using the screen. Getting drives. McDonald will pull for three. Heavy. Fight for the rebound. Good fight there from Joe. Huge effort. 
<laughs> just leaves it all on the floor. Gotta love watching this kid, yeah, man. It's, it's hard not to appreciate watching him out there. Donald. Lecky, mid-range. Won't fall. Rebounded by Cashman. We have a reach and foul called against Lecky. Maybe two on Lecky. Joe using the screen from McDonald's. Out to Cash and he'll shoot. Just off the mark. Rebound taken by Lecky. They just do get it over half. Wadden thought of it to three. Gets it to McCormick. They swing it back to Lecky. Drives. Dump off pass for McCormick. Spins. Back low for Lecky. And he goes up for an easy two. Joe into the lane, kick, corner, McDonald drives baseline. He's sent packing by McCormick. And McDonald comes away with it. Gets to the rim, gets it up. Won't go in, but he'll head to the line for two. That'll be three on Joe as well. Good for McDonald. Kearney, pull up, tough. Won't get it to fall. Rebound taken by Wadden. An offensive foul call. Basket will not count. No basket there. That'd be a ton of cliff. Donald, Dale Low McKinnon. Kick out for Kearney, thought of it to three. Drives, puts it up, and that one falls. Lecky, can't answer. Offensive rebound, McDonald, he's short on the book back. He's going to commit a foul. As Coach Redshaw will use his second timeout. Looks to stop this Bears run. Six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. 15 point Bear advantage. I've, I've yet to really see them try to get down and use that size of McCormick with LeBlanc on the bench. I mean, I've, I thought for sure that's what Riverview would have went back to right away, but they seem to just be content with swinging that ball around and taking the three ball. As the fans are going back and forth here. Fifteen point lead here for the Bears. As the fans chanting silver medal. Might be a little too early for that, Al. I mean, somebody in this gym will be getting a silver medal. You're not wrong, but I mean, who it's directed towards. Still six minutes left here in the fourth. Lots of ball left. True. Riverview is with four team fouls.
Carney into the lane, scores again. Leckie. Big block by Carney. They'll slow things down, get it back to Joe. He wants three. Can't find it. Rebounded by McKinnon. Reed's jumper no good there for Kearney. Taken away by McDonald. Under five to play, 17 point bear advantage. Kearney, step back, no good. McKinnon tried to tip it back, just short there. The ball looks like he's getting ready to return ready here. Ready to get so back a, in. That is a positive sign here for the Bears. That's Lecky, Big knocks three. it down. Tough shot. Deep. Smooth stroke there from Lecky. That matchup has not disappointed us here. That's going to be a travel. As the Blah checks back in, gets a warm ovation from the crowd. Great tip there by McKinnon, interrupting that pass. <laughs> McDonald will check back into the game for the Ravens. And Coach Kearney going to use his second time out of the half. Soon as he's seen McDonald coming on there, I think he wants to make a little adjustment. Fourteen point advantage game, definitely within reach. Ravens need to make a run. There you get a look at all the Bears fans piled in. Fourteen point advantage. Remember, following the conclusion of this, we'll have our medal ceremony presentation and our closing ceremonies. Followed by big night at the KOC. Oh, they were crisp last night, Al, I can tell you that. Went perfect with the minus 30 temperature outside. Yep. Donald will launch. Can't get it to go. Rebound taken by Kearney. Quickly gets it up for Cashin. Into the corner for McKinnon. And unable to finish there. McKinnon Sorry. comes up hobbling a bit. Slacky hits a big three. McKinnon. To have rolled an ankle there. Cutting through the lane. I think he got hit in the quad, actually. We get it in for McDonald. Kearney crosses over and slows things down. Gets it to Joe. Joe down the lane. Step through. 
big bucket by Joe McNeil. And the big smile on his face after the move. Like, no matter what, that kid just always has a big smile on his face. It's... Joe. Over to Kearney. Kearney elbow jumper. Just off the mark there. It's tipped out of bounds. It'll go back to the Ravens. Lucky now. Into the corner for Wadden. Fake goes up. Can't get it to go. Big rebound by LeBlanc. Bears looking to close this one out as we approach the two minute mark. LeBlanc over to Cashin. Lucky now. Top three. Rebound by Carney. We'll slow things down as we are under two minutes to play. Carney pulls up three just off the mark. Quick outlet for McCormick. And he can't finish, but a good foul there by Joe McNeil preventing the layup. That'll be four on Joe as well. McCormick good on the first. Friendly roll. Second, no good. Rebanded by Lecky. And he's blocked by Kearney. Carney's played every minute today. It's gonna be a jump ball. What an effort. He's left it all on the floor here in his final. Final Cole Bowl game. Definitely a jump ball there. To get it in for Joe. Bobbles but recovers. Tries to thread the needle, and it's kicked. Twelve point bear lead. Ben Kearney just putting on a clinic in this one. We knew it was going to be a pretty big matchup between him and Lackey. Luke McKinnon going to check back into the game for the Bears. And Nathan, we talk about a big matchup between the future CBU Capers. Ben Kearney with 39 points, and Anthony Lecky with 30. So the superstars showed up for both teams. As Cashin goes in and gets a layup. I mean, we, we pretty well penciled either one of them, whatever team won into the MVP slot, and they're, they're basically showing you why in this one. I mean, 39 big ones from Kearney. 73-59 lead for the Bears here forcing Coach Redshaw to take his final timeout. 
You're definitely going to see them come out in a press now. Beck, so difficult to press because they're so big. So big, and they can just move the ball so well. It's They're a very deep team, very long. Couple of big games. Also, big game on the board from Logan LeBlanc. He seems to be grabbing every rebound out there. Yeah, definitely a bright spot as well, seeing him return. Back injuries or something you don't want to really deal with. They linger. It's good to see him back out on here. 105 remaining. 14 point lead here for the Bears. And Coach Redshaw got his bench in. As Timmons, Crocker, Todd, Hervé, and Sexton all check into the game. Right away, as soon as Kearney seen that, he went right to the bench. He's going to take Kearney, Ben Kearney off, I can imagine. What a showing he had in the final, 39 points. And he'll get an ovation as he heads to the bench. What a huge game. 39 points for Ben Kearney. More than half his squad's points. London Sexton's able to hit a big, big three-pointer there. Pull it to within 11. As LeBlanc and McKinnon subbed off. Durando. Crosby will come in for the first time tonight. 26 seconds remaining. All but solidifying a Breton Education Center Cold Bowl Championship here. Fans are chanting Cold Bowl champs. A shot clock violation taken by the Bears. And the Bears will claim their third Cold Bowl title in As Joe, team history. What a what a game he had. Big minutes finding his way into the starting lineup. Fantastic week by all the Bears, and they'll celebrate as they should. 2023 Cold Bowl champions, the Breton Education Center Bears. As everybody storms the court. What a ball game. Fantastic effort all week. A hard fought game by the Riverview Ravens. What a week. That's just going to about wrap us up here for the 2023 Cold Bowl Classic Tournament. We want to thank you guys for joining us. Thank all of our volunteers. We thank thank everybody. Them, it's not possible. We've had a great, great week broadcasting with you guys, and uh, we will be sure to see you next year. Signing off for the final time, I am Nathan Penny, along with Alex McLeod. Have a good night, and we'll see you at the KOC.